to our fitness kickboxing class. Today we're going to do some uh, strength and conditioning. So make certain your face is clear. You have your gloves if you're going to hand you some gloves. You're near your bag if you're going to use a bag. You want a towel or a mat of some sort, make sure you have it. Make sure you get some water. And we're going to go through some joint warm-ups. So just to get your body a little bit extra ready for this. If at any point in time you need to warm up something else that we're not addressing, please feel free to do so. And after this, we'll get ready into our workout. So let's start with our fingers. Just rotating through and bending and extending through all of the joints in your fingers. From the fingers, let's go into our wrists. Thank you for joining us today. I'm looking forward to this workout. I hope you are. And we'll switch and go in the other direction. I always like the strength and conditioning classes, so I hope you guys are ready for this. And then let's go into the elbows. Think about your posture as you're doing this, so that you're not just standing here absent-minded, but you're taking inventory of your body, switch directions, so you know um, where you can and cannot push today. And then let's go into our shoulders. From this direction, we'll stop and go the other direction. From our shoulders, we're going to go into our hips. So this will be a balance. If you need something to hold on to to keep your balance, go right ahead. If you like you lifting up while simultaneously pushing down, as you're going through your leg swings, straight leg to get your joints in your hip warmed up. From here, We'll bend our knee. That will allow more movement on either end from the front and back. And then from here, we'll stop and go to the other leg. Straight leg, front and back, lifting up as you're going through the swing. And then bend the leg, adding a little bit extra <coughs> extension and rotation through the front and the back with the bent leg. And then we'll stop, go into the other leg, we're gonna go side to side. This one you should go probably just up to hip high. No need to go any farther. If you go farther, you're gonna be turning your hip out. So it's about just getting through the motion in this sideways direction. Because next, we'll be bending, and this is where we get some rotation in the sideways direction. From here, we'll stop and go to the other leg. Straight leg, side to side. Again, just going as high as your hip. It does not have to go as high as your hip, but you don't need to go any higher than that. And then we'll go into our bent leg. We're getting that extra rotation, and turning in and out. Next, we'll be going into our knees. So we'll bring our feet together, hands on the knees, and we're first going to start with just a bend and straight of your knees. Bending and straightening. Doesn't have to be very far. It's just about getting some movement in the knee before we start our workout. And then we're going to go into some circles and try and keep your foot flat on the floor. That will give a little bit of added benefit into the ankles. From here, we'll stop and go the other direction. Lastly, we're going to go into our ankles. Today, I think we'll just isolate our ankle. So we'll put our foot out and then big circles with your toes. And then we will stop. Make as big a circle as you can. It's about flexing and pointing and flexing and pointing while doing a circle. And then we'll switch. Go into the other foot. Big circle. From this direction, we're going to switch and go the other direction. All right. That is the end of our joint warm up. So if you have some gloves, get some gloves on. If you need to drink water, get a quick drink. And then we're going to start into that workout. All right. First thing we're going to be doing is just bouncing back and forth on our feet. Um, and it's not about going up and down, 
when you hit the second bell. We'll just have our feet parallel, shoulders down, knees bent, working on the rotation as we just do some fast punches. All right, we have about 30 seconds before we start. So if you have any other things that you need to um, address, have about 20 seconds. You can do some arm swings here, getting yourself ready. Yeah, 15 seconds. Put our left foot in front, getting ready. We're going to bounce forward and backwards. Keep those knees bent, stay pliable. You don't want to do the straight leg, but that's not going to be very comfortable. Here we go. And jab, two jabs. Jab, two jabs. Single, double. Still get that rotation. Double. So it's a forward, back, forward, two. Forward, back, forward, two. One, two. If you're on the bed, it's one, two. One, two. You don't have to do two closes. It's just a single close each time. One, two. However, for each punch, you want to get that rotation. One, Two. So we're not just extending our arm here, but you're turning, turning, turning. Notice those hips get turning. Two. Single, double. Single, double. Single, double. Getting ready, we're going to switch. Double. We'll switch on this one. Here we go. Right foot. Single, double. Single, double. Single, double, single, double, single, double. Get that rotate, rotate. Single, turn, turn for the double. Single, turn, turn for the double. It's not just the shoulders, it's the hips. Here, single, double with the hips. Single, double with the hips. Single. Double. Keep that body structure. One, two. You shouldn't have a break anywhere in that midsection. Single. Feel like you're pulling up with your chest. Go. Double. Single. Double. Single. Double. Single. All right. Get ready for some fast punching. Feet apart. So it's just about punch, 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 punch. One right after the other. Get that little twist back and forth. If you have your feet parallel like this, you'll only have so much rotation. If you want to get a little bit more rotation in this, put one foot in front, then you can really get that body into it. Here, make certain they're wide enough that you get this turn. If they're too narrow, here, it's going to be hard to get this turn. So, have them shoulder width apart. While you're doing this, if you can do a little bit on this side, and then switch your feet if you want. It's just about doing some punches. Getting some punches in. Getting that rotation in. Keeping those hands up as you're punching. Keep that chin down. Keep your knees soft. Keep your body turning. And you get a break. Next, we're going to do six punches and then drop down for two push ups. So, six, two, then we're going to do six hooks and two burpees. Get yourself ready. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, down for push ups. One, two, and back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, down for two. If you need to for your push up, you can do it from your knees. One, two. Keep your body straight from your shoulders to your knees, however. And punches. One, two, three, four, six. Down for push up. 
yourself down. If you can, you can try and get your shoulder on the inside of your thigh here as you're doing this stretch. And we'll come up and we'll switch. So, take the arm of the leg that's straight, grabbing your knee. Other hand will go up tall. Stretch over to the foot. You can reach your toe, great. If not, just stretch it out. Try and get your shoulder as close to your leg as possible. If it can touch your leg, so if your shoulder touches your leg, you can try and get it on the inside and see how far down it can go while still maintaining gravity this knee. And then we'll come up. Now let's put both legs out. And we're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to start with the center. So let's have your arms up by your ears. So biceps to your ears, shoulders get pulled down, back is straight, belly button is coming out, head stay straight, and stretch forward, reaching to the floor with your belly button. Everything's nice and straight. Pull it for a couple more seconds, keep those shoulders down, reach through the fingers. So you have that opposing stretch, pulling your arms into your body while stretching the fingertips away from your body. And then everything rolls down. Stretch your arms out as far as they can go. Keep your head down towards the floor. Take a few nice breaths. And then we're going to roll your belly up. We're going to turn and face one leg, one hand on either side of your leg. Stretch those hands down the side of your leg. Use your fingers to walk yourself down as far as you can go. And roll yourself up. And we'll go to the other side. One hand on either side of the leg. Stretch yourself down. Use your fingertips to walk yourself up. Thank you.